Let's clear the fog. You can start hacking without knowing how to program, but if you stay there, you'll always be stuck in the shadows of other people's code. You'll be just another script kitty, running tools you didn't build, launching attacks you don't fully understand, and praying they work. You might feel like a hacker copying some exploit from GitHub, but the moment it breaks or the target system is slightly different, you're blind. You have no clue how to fix it. Because it's not your code. You're not hacking, you're just pressing buttons. Let's be real. When you don't know how to code, your hacking journey hits a wall fast. You find a cool exploit. Great, but it's written in Python 2 and your system uses Python 3, and now you're stuck on a stupid syntax error. You don't know what to fix, so you just quit. Or go searching for another script. Hoping it works. You're doing CTFs, trying to solve challenges. But the web app is custom built, and now you're staring at code in JavaScript or PHP, completely lost. You join a bug bounty program, and you're trying to find vulnerabilities. But without coding knowledge, you don't understand how the backend works. You can't see how the logic fails. You're guessing, poking around blindly, and getting nowhere. So don't even talk about exploit development. That entire world is locked to you if you can't code. Buffer overflows. Shell code. Binary exploitation. It's a different language, and without programming, you're muted. You become dependent on other people's tools. If it's not in Metasploit, if it's not on GitHub, if it's not pre-built, you're done. You're a user, not a creator. And here's the worst part. You know deep down that you're not actually hacking. You're just executing someone else's work and calling it your own. But when you finally commit to learning programming, everything shifts. You go from, I hope this works, to, I know how this works. You stop copying and start creating. You stop following tutorials and start building tools other people wish they had. The struggle without coding isn't just technical, it's mental. You start to feel stuck. You lose confidence. You compare yourself to others who are growing faster. That frustration builds and a lot of beginners give up right here. Don't be one of them. But when you learn to code, everything changes. You stop relying on random tools and start building your own. You stop panicking when errors hit and start fixing them like a weaponized machine. You stop copying payloads and start crafting exploits from scratch. Programming is the core of real hacking. It's not just knowledge, it's power. You want to stay basic, fine. You'll scan, you'll sniff, and maybe you'll get a low-hanging shell. But if you want to be dangerous, Programming turns you into a ghost in the system. You'll write your own backdoors and bind them to legitimate processes. You'll create custom password crackers that adapt in real time. You'll build your own C2 server's command and control to manage multiple shells across machines. You'll develop zero-day exploits that no one has ever seen because now, you're not reading POCs, you're creating them. You'll weaponize Python malware that bypasses antivirus encrypts payloads, and evades detection. You'll craft memory corruption exploits, exploiting buffer overflows, ROP chains, heap spraying, techniques that melt even hardened systems. This is not kiddie stuff. This is advanced warfare, the kind of power where your skills echo in red team reports, bug bounty hall of fames, and maybe even threat intel feeds. Without programming, you can only scratch the surface with it. You become the storm. Languages like Python, Bash, JavaScript, PowerShell, C, and even Assembly, they all open new attack surfaces. They let you understand systems at the code level, which means you don't just break them, you control the way they break. If you want to be the kind of hacker that companies fear, researchers respect, and the dark web watches quietly, learn to code. It's not about being a genius. It's about consistency and obsession. Study hard, break harder, code daily, fail fast and never stop. Because once programming becomes part of your flow, you won't just be a hacker, you'll be a digital weapon. So now you know the truth. Hacking without programming is like walking into war without a weapon. You can try, but you'll always be limited, always guessing, always relying on someone else's tools, someone else's exploits, someone else's brain. But when you take control, when you decide to learn code, everything unlocks. You start thinking like a real hacker. You see through systems, you break past barriers, you become a creator of chaos, not just a user of it. And yeah, it's hard. You'll burn out, you'll hit errors, you'll question yourself, but that's the path. That's what separates the script kitties from the beasts. So if you're still here, still listening, that means you're built different. You're not just curious, you're ready. And in the next video, I'll show you exactly how to start your programming journey step-by-step -step as a hacker. But for now, if this hit you deep, hit that like button, share it with someone who needs to hear it, and drop a comment below, and make sure to smash that subscribe button. 
so you don't miss out on future content that will take your skills to the next level. Stay sharp, stay hungry, stay dangerous. See you in the next one.